just relaxing in the room. Dave went to go get some ice for us. I'm looking for the TV remote. Here it is. And it is sanitized. So we got four pillows here. I'm gonna try out this mattress. See if it's comfy. It's pretty comfy. I'm waiting on footage to download right now. Dave's grooming himself in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. I smell muscle rub. Yeah, good night. It's a little after seven. And I'm making me some coffee in our Coronado Springs room. The water in there. Got my cake up in there. Oh, come on. Put a little creamer in there. Oh, yeah. That was the trick. Just turn the TV on and look what's on the TV. Pretty cool. Right now they don't have the fountains going. I know. But it's still a nice view. You can see the swan and dolphin over there. I think we're heading down to the pool. We're really enjoying our stay at Coronado Springs. So, so nice. All right, guys, so this is the pool at the Coronado Springs Resort. I don't know that we will actually be able to go in the pool. We just tried to check in, but it, the girl said that they have been at capacity since 10 o'clock this morning, and it is right now a two hour to a two and a half hour wait to get inside the pool area. We are waiting in line to get a drink at the pool bar, which is Siesta. They do have a few appetizers and frozen drinks as well as a pool bar. They also have an arcade over here, but I think that is closed currently. They do have a little playground area for the kiddos, so that's a cool little feature. And here's a look at the pool bar. Have a few appetizers, entrees, salads, and good stuff. Smells good. This area over here is pretty cool, like a dry riverbed kind of. windy out here so I do apologize if there is a lot of wind noise with the mics but this kind of just shows you how huge this resort is we had no idea how big it was until we actually got here mm-hmm I'm just drinking my pina colada it's good And then as we're exploring around, they just have all these little areas that are pretty cool. This is a butterfly conservation area. Pretty cool. It's a big 
turtle right there just sunning himself soaking up all the rays he's happy hi little buddy I wanted to show you where all of the pretty much quick service options are with the hotel there is a Rick's sports bar and grill that we ate at yesterday and there's also the El Mercado de Coronado quick service and we will be eating breakfast at one of these areas tomorrow so we'll definitely show you that also have Rick's cafe which is straight ahead that is also quick service kind of like a grab-and-go option. It is currently closed. As well as the Meyer Grill, which is straight down this way, that is currently closed. And the Tupelo Tapas Restaurant is also currently closed. For the shopping option, they have the Panchitos Gifts and Souvenirs. We'll go in here and see what they have to offer. We have Specialty Coronado Springs merchandise. Which is pretty cool. We might have to get one of those before we leave just to commemorate our stay. That hat is pretty cool. Oh, I might have to get me one of these. So I'm editing the Coronado Springs video and realized that we didn't show you what we actually bought in the gift shop. I did get that head wrap with the Mickey balloons on it because that was just so cute and I've never seen it before and I had to have it. But we also got a pen to kind of have a souvenir from our stay and I'll show you that. Here it is. So we kind of got the pen to have a little souvenir from our stay. We got two of them. Dave got one for his lanyard and I got one for mine, but I didn't put mine on the lanyard because I think I just want to display it, but I thought it was very cute in the shape of Mickey ears and that's what we got in the gift shop. So we are going to attempt to go down to the Three Bridges Villa del Lago restaurant for dinner. Um, on the app, it says that they are already at capacity for walk up waiting. Which They're is not ridiculous because 30 minutes ago it said it was a five minute wait. Yeah. Um, they are not allowing reservations, and we were not able to go to the pool today because when we got to the main pool, there's three pools at this resort. And the main pool was a two and a half hour wait when we went at, what time was three that? Three hours. It's, we went there at 3.30, at 6.30 now. We still haven't got a call. Yeah, so we put our number in. Um, they still haven't called us. And it's what time now? 6.30. Yeah, so that was kind of a big disappointment. I mean, if you're staying here, and especially if you're staying for a whole week and you're, spent, you're planning to have a day at the pool, um, that's kind of disappointing for the amount of money that you're spending to stay here so we went to the other two pools and they were also closed at capacity so I mean I get it with COVID going around and you're only allowed to let a certain number of people at the pool but it's still kind of disappointing with the amount of money that you're paying to stay at these resorts that you're not able to go stay at a pool or go get in a pool There's Tower of Terror. Yeah, there's Star Wars. I can only zoom in so far, but it looks pretty cool from up here at the Coronado Springs Grand Tower. There's Blizzard Beach over there. And the 
don't think you can see it on camera, but Old Town is over there, way off in the distance. Pretty cool. You can see the swan and dolphin. See Epcot. There. We're posted up here over in the corner. We came here last night, but we figured we'd come up here and get a drink and something to eat because all I've had all day is a pretzel. So I am starving. Piece of a pretzel. Piece of a pretzel, so I am absolutely starving. We did put our name in for the three bridges. Uh, Villa del Lago um, restaurant, but two, two and a half hour? Wait, two and a half hour wait. Yeah, so what's that? Like eight something? Eight third, uh, eight, 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 nine fifteen at the latest. Nine fifteen and it's six. Seven. Seven o'clock, six fifty eight, seven o'clock now, so. We got two I hours. I don't think I can wait that long to eat something. I feel like I'm gonna faint at any moment. My bad though, my bad. So if you didn't know, the Dahlia Lounge is at the 16th floor here at the Coronado Springs. And you do get a awesome, awesome view. Today is actually the first day that they are opening for their five o'clock opening time. Up until today, it has been a seven o'clock opening time because of the coronavirus. So today is the first five o'clock day, so you're supposed to be able to catch the sunset today for the first time since March. So we're gonna try to do that. What are you drinking? It is a strawberry apple cider and it is amazing. And so I got the Nakias. I am not gonna pronounce it right. The whole name is Bode Bodegas Nakias Vega Sindoa Chardonnay from Navarre. I'll show it to you on the menu. There it is. Let's try this wine. Very good. Very smooth. We got the shrimp. Pill pill, and it has a lot of things that I cannot pronounce, so I am going to just show you what it looks like on the menu. There it is, right there. We also got the chicken wings, which I can pronounce those. That is the spiced sherry honey glaze chicken wings. And oh my gosh, guys, those look D. Delicious. I'm not gonna be shy. I'm gonna dig. I'm digging in. Get my folk out. Be trying one of these shrimps. Mm. Fancy. We got gold forks and knives. Fancy. It's good. Spicy. Spicy. We got bread. To Has a lot of good flavor. The shrimp. It's got cooked some perfectly. cilantro on there. I love cilantro. I'm warning you, it's good. You know the peri peri shrimp that we get for what festival is it? The Epcot. Epcot. Yes. I don't remember what festival it's for though. 
for the food and wine is from the Africa booth, I think. Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. Yes, it does. Very good. It's really good. I'm going to take a little bit of the bread. The bread's even really good. Dip it in the sauce. That's what I've been doing. Mm. And the bread has that grilled flavor. <laughs> Good catch. And these shrimp are huge. I see some slivers of garlic in there. In that sauce. Good, ain't they? Mm -hmm. The bread's even good. It has, oh. mm -hmm. It's got like a char broiled flavor on it. Mm. You, I don't want you to eat shrimp and stuff. Mm. You eat bread. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. She's gonna give me the bread, but she'll, she'll, she'll keep the shrimp. We had to take a quick break from eating to try to capture some of the sunset. Let me tell you, it was so beautiful on the 16th floor to watch the sunset from the Dahlia Lounge. All right, we're gonna dig into these wings. Go ahead. What do you want? You want a, it don't a matter wing to me. or a drum? Doesn't I'm gonna do this one right here. This looks like it could get pretty messy. I can already tell you they're very crispy. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I thought Carabas was my favorite wings. I think this might have Carabas beef. They have a cherry glaze on them. They're crispy. They're not soggy. So tender. Very good. You get six wings in an order. I think it was like $14 though. Yeah, I showed the price on the menu. Very good. Now $14 for wings isn't cheap, but you're not going to get the way this is cooked, the quality of how this is cooked with the flavor that it has for, you know, $10 worth of wings from a wing place. It ain't happening. No, I was just saying that the sauce is amazing. It's unbelievable. That's all I wanted to say. So what did you think of the second night at the Dahlia Lounge? It was great. I wish, I wish we would have gotten some food last night based on how everything tasted tonight. It was amazing. I'm gonna come here on a Friday or Saturday just to eat with you sometime. Probably just get some appetizers and a couple drinks and it's well worth it. And it's not far from the house, 10 minutes and everything is delicious.